Alright YouTube, I'm just going to be uh, doing a quick video here about this little router I've got back in the corner. Um, it's just a cheap little router that came from Future Shop before Future Shop closed down up here. It's done its job very well, but every once in a while, because of a lineup for a ferry, <laughs> which we live right next to, which gets full of cars, it gets a little overheated with everybody trying to find it, even though I've put it on hidden SSID. And just every once in a while, um, here. every once in a while, it will just lock up on the Wi-Fi side. The uh, regular LAN side, most of the time, just keeps running. So what I did was I got one of those little infrared remote uh, control boards there, the module in the dead center. You can see the big relay. I was using that, and unfortunately, there was an issue. Um, for some reason it was working just great. I was getting ready to hook it up to that little buck converter, DC to DC converter, so it could leach power from the supply of the router. And uh, I guess there was an ESD that took out the little, I guess there was a pick on board that thing. And uh, yeah, and the, uh, that died, and then shortly after that, because it wasn't being run correctly, the little IR receiver died, but uh, as you can see, I've replaced that brain with uh, uh, Arduino Pro Mini clone, and I've used uh, one of the little IR receivers. Let's see if I can get closer here for you guys. I've used one of the little IR receivers from one of my remote control helicopters, and funny enough, it's the exact same protocol. Um, 38 alerts I think they run on and it works just fine with the uh, infrared library for Arduino uh, so all I had to do was uh, go into that uh, module there find out where the old controller on board was being controlled and tap the Arduino into that and then make a circuit which allowed me to do a little bit of extra stuff now I'm gonna pause the video here and uh, I'll do a quick sample okay so we've seen um, how I set it up, and it's just a simple little router there. Um, what it works with, the Wi-Fi module normally would come with one of these little Wi-Fi, uh, see the signal there, um, which would normally just turn the old module on and off, one push for on, one push for off, and I would have let my wife reset the router, hard reset it from comfort of the couch where she has a bad back basically she's still recovering from back surgery a major surgery and where we live so close to uh, a lineup for a local ferry uh, so much Wi-Fi or people searching for free Wi-Fi for some reason when the lineup is full this little router seems to overheat trying to do the protocols and I've drilled holes in it and all kinds of stuff to, they've even added a heat sink to the, <laughs> the processor in it you know all low budget things I guess to see what we can get out of it and how much longer we can keep using the thing. And one thing we found is putting it on a timer seemed to help with these just these few specific occasions when people are really hunting for Wi-Fi, it seems to get jammed. So um, one of the things we can do uh, is turn it on and off. Um, it seems to clear that right away. But for her, it's not an easy thing because I'm in my temporary desk this whole setup over here is kind of temporary. I'm not even going to bother showing you the, the mess that is this desk for very long. <laughs> All the stuff just thrown on it until I can get it sorted and back upstairs. But anyhow, back to the, uh, the item at hand. Um, in this dark little corner, we have the module now being controlled by the uh, Pro Mini. Um, if I push it once, it shuts off the router. Oop, that was a double push. I pushed it once, let's just turn it back on, if I push it one time, not double push or bounce, that'll stay off, that little extra LED on the chrome when comes on, and it's solid saying that this router is going to stay off until I do something else. If I push it one more time, you'll see there's a fast blink, if I push it one more time, there's a slow blink. The first push gives you 10 seconds to reboot. The second push, this one here, is 30 seconds plus the initial 10, so they'll, they'll cycle down through each other. So I'm just going to randomly speed it up here. Say it had done the first 30 seconds. Oops, that was too far along. Here, let's go back. 
See, it's gone through its first 30 seconds. Then it would go to fast. And then what would happen is this will cycle throughout in about 10 seconds and it's gonna automatically power the router back on. Actually, I might have shortened it, but it might have been about 10 seconds. Anyhow, now the router will physically finish rebooting. And uh, any of the problems that required a hard reset will be cleared once it finishes rebooting. And uh, the reboot cycle can take a little while, so I'm not gonna bother filling that, but the router will finish rebooting. Anyhow, oh, there it goes. And there we're back. Anyhow, I thought I'd do this little update and um, that uh, shows uh, some of the things I've had to be working on here in the last little while that slowed down my regular videos. Anyhow, as always, thanks for watching.